Now, I got a feeling today's episode's gonna be a pop-off episode, but I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna pop off by playing chess. Proxy chess. Now, I was kind of upset when, you know, Anakoji may Suzune, you know, be the one to play the chess against the A-class. But, like, could you imagine if it would have been, like, someone like Ike or, like, even Hondo? Fuck it. Put Sakura in there. Some NPC and let them, you know, beat Class A with Anakoji's help. I think that would be the most disrespectful and funniest shit ever. But let's see what's going to happen today's episode. All right. Quote of the day. There is only one rule in love. Bring happiness to those you love. Yeah? Yeah? Makes sense to me. Whoa. White room? Whoa! Actually getting white room stuff? What rating? What rating are you watching? So this is a past. This is straight up the past and they're playing chess right now. And kind of interesting. How kind of kind of interesting what Anakoji's dad said here because remember the whole thing about Arisu's philosophy about how it's like um genetics don't matter genetics is everything right and then Papa Koji says because he wants to artificially create these geniuses right it's like um environment it's like it's like nurture versus nature and Arisu thinks that it's like your genetics determines everything while his philosophy is like nah it's like the environment predicts pretty much is everything I think it's it's something in the middle right definitely the environment that you grow up like you grow in definitely influences how you will be raised like you've seen like dogs being raised amongst like a fucking no, no sorry there's like videos of like a, a dog a mama dog raising like tiger puppies and those tigers become huge but they're like loved the, like the dog so much they don't even think of it as like food right so like environment determines a lot but of, of course you know genetics and talent of course it, it goes hand to hand <laughs> is to produce excellent from most inferior DNA. Is Koji doesn't have inferior DNA, right? If I keep thinking about it, is K Koji kind of is on, you know, he, 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 he kind of got the acoustic riz. So, was Papa Koji's goal, he realized, holy shit, my son is the most inferior product ever. I'm gonna make him into a fucking genius with the white room. Could, could, you, could you imagine if Koji just had shit DNA? <laughs> Okay? Who is Koji's mom? Good question. Test two baby? Arisu. Yeah, what about it? No proper seven-year-old kid would ever even think that this is interesting. What the fuck do you mean? Listen to her lines just now. What? I can't take this shit seriously, bro. I can't take this shit seriously, though. Experiments to create artificial genius. Okay, Papa. <laughs> oh, that's my daughter. <laughs> so they met a long time ago, but only Arisu knew. Koji didn't know, huh? Is that a blush? And kind of interesting how back in the past, you know, they're still playing chess and they already met before. And now we're going to play chess together, kind of, you know. Opening! In any other episode, that's where the opening should have played. If the opening is not going to play, it means it's going to be a hype episode. Yo, I want to see the dodgeball test, man. Destiny. Maybe? So just how Arisu, you know, thinks about, you know, DNA is everything, like environment versus like, you know, your genetics, right? Isn't there something of like a philosophy between like thinking that everything is destiny versus like you can shape your own future? You know what I mean? Yes, the cameraman angle here is kind of fucking very thirsty, but Arisu, even though she believes in like how DNA, your genetics is everything, she still believes in fate or like destiny while Aonokoji is kind of the opposite but he probably thinks that he can shape his own destiny now we chillin sensei you want to do something later you want to come over to my room Yo, this sensei is so thirsty bro lottery pick what is it Has Anakoji ever gone all out before in the anime? 
Has there ever been a moment where he truly tried? Because he made this, he, he said something last episode, right? If I actually try, no one can beat me. Not just in chess, everything. And now Adis is saying, I hope you go all out. And I, Anakoji will probably win. That's what I would expect, right? That's like a logical, like intuitive guess. But it's like, imagine he wins and he didn't even fucking try. And he just embarrasses Adis like that. I don't know. Maybe this is the first time he'll actually have to go all out. I don't know how to judge Adis just yet, huh? She talks big. Is she that legit though? Ooh, pseudo? Where's the basketball? Pseudo? Kontai! <laughs> wait, 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 Ike? Hondo? Hondo's in? Uh, that, that's the second year girl. Uh, I don't know who the guy in the middle is. Oh, this guy's actually kind of dangerous, right? This, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Onodera. Only that I was a uh, pretty sporty one, I forget. But this guy right here, this guy, isn't he like super good at fighting too? Yeah, Sudo's not fighting? Yeah, the third. Why is the 40 year old in? Let's just swap in one participant at the moment of our choosing. So we can basically put Sudo in when it matters the most, huh? I wanna see Sudo dunk on somebody. <laughs> Yo, can my man EK and Hondo ball? I mean, why did I even expect them to actually play basketball? We've already, we already saw the sports festival in second year. We saw that shit. Why, why did I? All the bud that's going to go into fucking moving little chess pieces around during the fucking chess match, dude. PowerPoint presentation. <sighs> What's he doing? Sudo! Sudo can. Hondo's been subbed out. Let's go, Sudo. EK more valuable than Hondo? Oh! <laughs> Yo! Yo, why does he always wear gloves, though, huh? God damn! Sudo, no! He's not even looking while he's dribbling. What the? I have never seen. Look, look, I play basketball, bro. I could see like a hook like this, like a little sky hook. Is that what he's doing? I, I guess he is, huh? He is kind of doing that. I don't know. Okay, all right. <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> so he was holding back. <laughs> don't tell me we're going to lose. Come on. Sudo, come on. His mental is kind of weak, huh? Then everything else collapses. Wait? Sudo's mentality is strong, maybe? So maybe he's going to continue provoking Sudo, and Sudo will prove that in the game of basketball, he's actually super cool and calm. I don't know. Uh oh, 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 damn! Damn, Sudo behind the back pass! EK caught that shit too, bro! EK and Sudo are in sync! I don't know how the fuck we just won, but... Bro! They did that Kuroko basket shit, bro. They were in fucking sync, dude. EK and fucking Sudo, dude. Yeah, I, I think Sudo has matured a lot. There we go. That's one. What next, though? Literally APM. Sorry, how many words per minute we can do without making mistakes? Yo, this is kind of hype. Yo, <laughs> call it nerdy, but I, I, I have my own pride as a fast typer, man. This shit is fucking hype. Who's gonna battle? How are they gonna animate this? How are they gonna animate the? I haven't counted my WPM in a while. How? Cause you like all they have to do is fucking type like this. Imagine they just do a PowerPoint slide for this shit too. Hakase! Sotomura Hideo! 933 KPM! Shit! Bro's a fucking Ferrari, bro! We're already on the English test. Hakase actually popped off there. Yo, I know Hakase only got like 5 seconds of screen time, but he actually fucking carried. Hakase fucking carried, dude! He's more useful than just a spreadsheet of girls' bus sizes. Hey, you're fucking it up, aren't you? <laughs> Kushida should be good at math, right? Yeah, Kushida's good at math. Michan? Right, she's got a Chinese name. It's Kushida and Wang. 
Wang Mei Wu? Wang, Wang Mei Wu? Mi Chan, Mi Chan. Alright, I'm gonna coach a group. Was he always that cool? Was, 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 was he always that cool? Holy shit. You know, I, apparently he's actually really good at fighting too, man. Like, he was able to, like, like hold off on, like, strong fights in the light novel. I swear to God, if Sakura has a line here. Why would you, like, like, like lo 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 look at the direction. Look at the direction of the anime. So sometimes... They'll have characters finish each other's sentences in sequence. And look at the way they're positioned, right? Haruka goes. Which means... Sato gets a line. If we get a good pull on the next cell check. And then Sakura see what go. And then she says something fucking dumb. And she got fucking skipped. Even the fucking animation... The, 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 the animation studio knows she's fucking useless. What's she doing? Mental test? Mental math? Tamiya Emi. She got a nice design, man. I've never seen her before, but she, she's nice. Baldi. Keisei? Yeah! Yeah! Koenji! Wait, 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 wait. But, 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 but Baldi, though. But Baldi. Would Baldi even try? Because isn't he technically on our side? Wait, well, we were kind of like trying to persuade him before. Isn't he too honorable? I don't know, but it's kind of crazy that Matsushita is in there with Koenji right now, man. Okay, okay. Well, Koenji just not give a fuck? Ah, please. Koenji, please. Clutch. Koenji, come on. Oh, that's a lot of numbers. Oh, that's a lot of numbers flashing. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to look at the screen! <laughs> I hope Koenji will just keep his eyes closed the entire time, and when the thing is done, he'll peek down. He'll peek down at Matsushita's paper, he'll be like, <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, peek. 1,432. <laughs> and fucking wins, dude. <laughs> Nah, he's using his fucking intuition, bro. He didn't even try? Okay, I don't know if you can answer one. Adi Sans is the most difficult one. Actually, I can't. You can Listen, you're my favorite character, but like. You closed your eyes and you didn't look the entire time. There's no shot that you could have ever, ever fucking memorized it. What do you, there's nothing to memorize. You had your eyes closed. No. How? Did he just guess? Did he guess? What the fuck did he do? Did the Koenji already know what the numbers were going to be because he's that different? We still lost. <laughs> we still lost? Koenji came last place. However, he still guessed the hardest question perfectly. Bro guessed the hardest question perfectly without looking at the numbers. This is a 10 out of 10 episode from me. This is a fucking 10 out of 10 episode from me already. Bro wasn't looking. He wasn't looking. It's penciled down. There's nothing to write down. How do you do it in the light novel? How did he do it in the light novel? Is there an actual explanation? There's no shot. Was he peeking? Was he peeking? What do you mean just solve it? You can't solve it if you don't know the numbers! Good point. Good point by the teacher right here. Did they just give up, huh? There wasn't enough time, right? Did they not even try to solve those last ones? Because strategically, if you have a time limit and the hardest ones are at the very end, you're gonna min-max for the earlier ones, right? Numbers one to six, maybe. But of the ones that people skipped because it was too hard, Koenji still fucking blind guessed it. And then Koenji says, fuck you to your plan. <laughs> Listen, he's never tried it before. He's never even done mental math before. He's just trying for the first time. 
This fucking guy. My favorite character. My favorite character. But we still lose. And you still got last place. Kind of impressive though. Masushita. Second place. Maybe she's actually kind of worth, man. All right. Well, I mean, obviously we're gonna fucking go to the last game. We gotta play chess. Oh, because Katsuragi was technically, you know, working with us before, right? But it's like, just in case, we'll fucking kill another person. <laughs> just like Yahiko or something. Okay, let's go chess. What is this? Okay. Oh, so everybody pretty much gave up, huh? Everybody pretty much uh, gave up on the last one. But it's like... That's so funny that like, Koenji just guesses the last one, dude. Everybody pretty much guessed, like, um, skip like 69, 79, but number 10. And Koenji just fucking guesses it. <laughs> Look at all these X's, dude. Bro just skipped everything and just finished the boss fight himself and left. And he's like, bro, what the fuck? I'm glad Koenji didn't take it seriously. Arisu understands and acknowledges Koenji's competence. But what was that look from Matsushita right there? What, what was that concern look from Matsuchita? Yeah, he's a wild card. She sus because of Koji? She sus that he could solve it? You are right. And, and I guess this, this is how Matsuchita might come into the story a little bit more. Because, like, remember how, like, Arisu, you know, tripped all the flags and got people really suspicious. Because, like, why the fuck did he get all the positive points? And then Susan was like, uh, he's an NPC. It could have been fucking Hondo. It's just trivial. It's like, oh, okay. And then it's like just now. How the fuck did you solve that problem? And then Matsushita's like connecting the dots in her head? Okay. We can hang out after this too, you know, Aisu. <laughs> Lottery. Chess time. Yeah. Imagine they didn't pick chess. The captain can freely give instructions to the player for up to 30 minutes of the allotted time. Okay, 30 minutes. Man, are, do we gotta put Susanae in, man? Can't we put, like, some mean character in, like, fucking Hondo or EK? I mean, they already fucking balled out. Pretty much it's a 30-minute match between these two. Amongst piano and calligraphy, he's great at chess. She plays chess by herself, bro, because she has no friends. White room! Because he's like a tool to Koji Papa. Straight out the womb. That's so sad. Such a wholesome, understanding dad, man. Arisu's dad's so great. Okay, here we go. They save all the budget for this scene. Let's see how well the chess scene's gonna be animated, man. Is Hashimoto good at chess? I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's all about Arisu and Koji, but... Is there a way to make the chess game exciting? Like, if you don't know the rules of chess, like, this means nothing to you, man. Hashimoto lying? I, I started a month ago. I started a week ago. Oh, don't jinx yourself. Don't jinx yourself. <laughs> so, I said that, you know, w w when the basketball scene was PowerPoint slides, surely they're saving the budget for the cool chess scenes, right? Ain't no way they're giving a CGI chess right now. Ain't no way. Bro! It is what it is! This is truly the classroom to our elites, man. <laughs> Yes, I've been learning from Hondo. Hashimoto is very interesting, Koji, huh? He's in stalking. Maybe you're onto something, man. EK is the mastermind. Oh, Susanae's fortitude, the mental strength. I don't even know what the fuck's going on in a chess match right now. Are we white and, and they're black? I, I guess. Okay. I mean, if you look at the positions of everything, uh, I don't know. I, it's, it's hard to keep track of chess every time, but like the position right now, are we in the lead? Kind of? I don't know. I'm a chess noob. I know what the pieces do. Complete noob, though. 
30 minutes. Here we go. Koji Arisu gets in now. Last 30 minutes. Ooh. Things are getting faster, guys. Different soundtrack, different music. Oh, offline? Oh, offline. This is the last 30 minutes where you're supposed to, you know, show the fucking... Hey, this is the piece you're supposed to move! And Koji just <laughs> turns the TV off? Um... Where, where, what are you doing? Is this a lesson for Susan? That should do it. What was the po All right. Oh. The opening! Entry. She's so happy. Aris is actually so adorable, man. Ooh, yes. What the music, it does get hype. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Chess pieces are moving. Are we winning? Dude, she can't even keep up. <laughs> they can't even keep up with the decision making skills of Anisu and Koji. Has my playstyle touched your heart? Did Arisu all this time remember what happened in the White Room flashback? What did Dad say? This kid is probably the saddest of them all, you know? Since, you know, his birth, he's never had someone to love. He's never felt emotions, you know? Like, the, someone was never able to reach his heart. Did Arisu all this time care about Koji? And he just wanted to, you know, go make Koji's heart go Toki Toki? Is this, if this is true, is such a great character, man. What the fuck? Oh. What? Arisu cared all this time? Mm. Okay, let's see it. She's actually having so much fun. She's actually having so much fun. Man, we can't even see the chess match right now. What's going on? Whoa, 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 what about this move? What, is, is this move important? Hold up, I want to see the map board right now. So we're white, we're white knight, take out the bishop, and then it's kind of like checkmate right over here. No, so it's not checkmate, it's check, right? Because the king can move over here, right? The king has to either move one to the left or one to the right, and then what? Could the, the, the bishop then move somehow? What, 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 what is the game plan right now? I'm not seeing it. I'm a noob. Because when you play chess, they see like three moves ahead, you know? I only see like the current. Oh? So please stop it from happening? That's dad's wish for Arisu? Grown-ass man putting all his faith and hope into a fucking six-year-old kid. But hey, she's built different. Huh. She's actually so, like, noble, you know? She's so good! Like, the Sakayagi family is all great! They're, like, actually, like, good human beings! Susanne, come on! It's not over yet! Oh? Is Susanne gonna move by herself and clutch? No, she's not gonna do it. It's too hard for her. All right, put all your faith in Anakoji then. What move? I didn't see it. The pawn just went down. I, I, no, I, I got no fucking clue. Did this pawn go down? You can't move. Did something take it there? I don't know. What the fuck? To re oh, more backstory? <laughs> Ain't no way you actually said that as a six-year-old child. Ain't no way you just said that. What did she say? Is the ear to truly superior DNA? I will prevent this from happening. All right, you do your thing, genius. I love her, okay? It's just funny when a fucking six-year-old kid is saying this shit. What? What do you want to show him? What it means to love? No. And this is how we drop back down to class D? Because Koji said that his goal was to drop to class D. Could he have won there? Could he have won there? Did he intentionally fucking lose? Because he has been saying over and over, Hey, end of first year, we're gonna go to class C. And then 
when it dropped down by expelling Kushida, but that never happened. So here, he intentionally lost? Susune, L! L! This is why Manabu hates you! But it must be intentional. For what, though? What's the plan? At the end there. You did something. What was the meaning of that last move? Oh, the goat, the goat, the goat! Skishiro! Oh god, is he gonna fucking assault us again? I honestly fucking beat him up round two. Let's go. Kick her cane down. Normally. But. So Arisu didn't know. Arisu didn't know. Excuse me? Arisu shocked, but then he said the move is. The move that. The last move he made then was even better than the one that would have been considered ideal. He interfered? Skishiro told Hanako Wait, 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 how did you, how did you, how did you, That's fucking bullshit! What? Bro literally just cheat to like, listen, listen. When a student cheats in an exam, that's like the whole purpose of this, you know, anime. This anime is deception and trying to trick each other, okay? I get that. But when a fucking principal is cheating, to fight against you. What the fuck are we doing? We gotta fucking just beat this principal down. He had a bunch of men doing this shit. Enter the mainframe. The GXF3. Enter. And then Susan L. Do you think that if Susan was smarter, if Susan was truly smarter, that this move right here, she could have realized that, hold up, hold up, hold up, right, 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 right. If Susan was smarter and he realized that this move was something that Aonokoji might not have done. Now, I don't trust her to fucking know this shit in a month of, uh, a week into chess, right? That's fucking impossible, right? But like, I don't know. Could it, could, could, like, could she have like changed the outcome? Ooh, the soundtrack though. It's pathetic the way it is. Hey Arisu, your win is fucking fraudulent. L. L. This guy is so disrespectful. Yeah, he's great at taunting. The fucking kick her cane one more time right now. And he never opens his eyes. Characters like this, when they actually open their eyes for the first time, that's when shit gets real. Dude, that was a fucking great episode, man. It's not over yet. We got post credit scene, but damn. post credit scene! Oh, Koji and Arisu dates? In a real match, he would have won. So they simulated the entire game again. Gotcha, gotcha. Why didn't you? But you cast out all the positive votes and, and got Koji kind of sus meter up. It, 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 okay. Sure. That genetics before environment? Right, because her argument is that even if, like, um, like, like, what was it? E even if you're, like, a product of the white room and you're a genius, it's not the white room that made you into genius. You were already genuine from the beginning, right? Is it true? Did he, didn't, didn't he have shitty GNA, maybe? I don't know. Hawaii-toruma. Aww. What the fuck is the sudden Koji Arusu ship? Yo, where's Kay at? It'd be so funny if Kay was in one of these bushes right now, just like, you know, stalking. Like, what is he doing with another girl? <laughs> what the fu- Arisu is suddenly becoming one of the best girls! Oh my god! The amount of Arisu just like... Fan service! Not, not fan service in terms of loot shit, but like making all her like positive quality just show up. This is gonna make everyone love her! <laughs> Yamauchi? <laughs> what? Well, apologize for what? Sorry, I didn't catch that. What was the lie? The reason to avoid the one-on-one. -on -one. What was it then? I love you, Anakoji. 
<laughs> the diabetes. <laughs> She's reaching his heart. Is his heart going more doki doki than K could ever make it? Wow. Cause I can't remember what dad said. Dad said that Koji probably never knew the warmth of, you know, a human heart or some shit. And Kadesu just wanted to give it to him the entire time. Is he acting dumb or does he truly not know? Wow. And that is another episode of Classroom Elite. Where was Kay amongst all this? She was fucking panicking because she did not do her fucking study for the English exam. Do you know that she fucked up? Hey, this is massive point for Arisu. I thought that she was just a smug lolly that was so head in the fucking clouds. And yes, she kind of is still because no normal six-year-old, and she's not normal, but no six-year-old says, I am the height of human DNA. A genius as me is going to stop the white room from happening because he doesn't she doesn't want like other people to basically be like i don't know koji right to feel the human heart that's what she wanted to do the entire time for koji that was the entire thing i could have never guessed this i never knew that honestly you know care i thought that it might have been jealousy i thought that it might have been something like oh dad gives like koji more attention than me but it was never about that sakayanagi family is just fucking goaded they're great characters and with this like solid Solid top tier girl, bro. And anytime someone kicks her cane, it's still a funny time. Now, this chess match was fucking bullshit. This motherfucker. Skishido, bro. And good point. How the fuck is she gonna say I'm the peak DNA, but she's fucking crippled? That makes no sense. But Skishido, this guy was fucking cheating. Like, it's one thing if a student cheats against another student, but if the fucking principal of this school is cheating, like... What are we supposed to do? Are we gonna fucking fight the principal? Like, are we gonna throw hands with the principal one day? I wanna see some piano, but we can't. We can't, because, you know, Skishida was trying to provoke us. That's his thing, right? He's like the king of provocation. He probably had the cameras ready in case I don't know Koji raised the hand, and boom! Oh, you raised your hand in a principal? Expel back to Koji. But here, I still think that the main theory I, that I have is that Papa Koji wants Ana Koji back. He sent Skishido he here to get Ana Koji back, but. What's easier? If Koji is not going to return to the white room, why don't we move the white room to the school? So Skishiro is an agent from Papa Koji to basically facilitate this process. And maybe that's his entire plan? I don't fucking know. And yeah, is he hiding a Sharon gun? Why does he never open his eyes? When he actually opens his eyes one day, I bet it's going to be a fucking light novel illustration level of like importance, right? Man, that's going to be a fucking great moment. The chess matches... The animations are so fucking bad, isn't it? The basketball matches, it was pretty fucking bad, wasn't it? Like, Sudo kind of popping off was kind of cool, but it was pretty rushed, right? Uh, the, the mental match, just because Koenji did something, I'm going to obviously, you know, rate this episode as high as I possibly can. Because, again, if Koenji does something, it's an immediate 10 out of 10 for me. But I'm sure a lot of people are upset about this episode. And, oh, I will be there to farm and cover their videos. But, hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.